Hello everyone. Today I want to do a rainbow manicure with this glow three-piece nail polish um, kit that I got from Dollar Tree. I bought four individual ones. The colors are so bold, vibrant, and just so pretty. Um, I just want to see how well the polish flows, how smoothly it flows on my nails, and just how it looks in a rainbow. So I'll go ahead and get started. Before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and remove um, the, the clear polish treatment that I just put on my nails during the week. I'll go ahead and remove that. And I wanted to show you, I'm going to be using my favorite top coat, Professional Kit Set V. Um, I'm actually going to refill my little bottle. I love this stuff so much, I buy it by the big bottles. Now this, I want to say I ordered offline. Look how much I've used. I think I had this for like uh, a couple of years. I know I bought it in Florida, and I've been in Georgia for almost four years, so it really lasts a long time. I'm going to go ahead and refill the bottle up, and then I will definitely get started. Okay, I'm not going to use this little uh, tip here. I think I'm just going to pour it right in. hope I don't make a mess. I usually have a pretty steady hand. And the little bottle lasts me for months, too. I don't even know how many. I haven't tried to count it. But this is like one of the best top coats in the whole world. So, the idea that I had in my head when I saw um, this little, this little um, gadget, gizmo, whatever, was to put my polish in here and um, loosen them all the tops and it'll be easier for me to polish instead of just having it on the table you know it won't move around but this is what it looks like in the packet and look at those big bottles of polish in there these are the little small bottles and they still barely want to fit in some of them will fit in but some of them won't but anyway i'm going to go ahead and um loosen up the tops and start my polishing process Even though they ain't kind of crooked, I do have them in pretty sturdy. So I'm going to just give them a quick shake just to make sure all the polish is shuck up and evenly distributed. And I'm going to uh, loosen, up, uh, loosen up all the little tops. Let me get them all loosened up. So I got all the pops, the tops popped. And these are some tight little tops. So what you need to do is um, pop them first before you put them in here. Because they will not twist off in here. So we got all the tops just so easy to just come off and we can work with it. A lot of people like to put a top coat, I'm sorry, a base coat on their fingernails before they do a manicure. But I don't like to do that. Um, I like to put it on my, on my um, pedicures. So... Trying to get the camera right and i mess up my i get the polish while well, i'm gonna go ahead and just start while i'm talking i'm not gonna do this in no particular order i'm just choosing the colors as i see fit just want to see oh goodness look at that that is the first coat and look how well that goes on that's beautiful um I don't usually mess up too bad on my pedicure, on my manicures. I don't get the polish too much outside of my nail, but on my pedicures I do. But if I do get a little bit outside of my nails, it's really easy to clean up with a little brush and some fingernail polish removal. First coat, glow, three pack nail polish from Dollar Tree. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I fell in love. I have a new fingernail polish brand. I've never had any fingernail polish, when I say any, not one, that um, the first coat goes on like I have on two or three coats that bold and that clear. This is beautiful. I'm loving this. Did I use this color already? No. These are some beautiful colors. You have to um, go and get some. And try this. Look at that. I hope this camera doing this stuff some justice. I hope I can remember the colors that I used. Too. Okay, let me see. That one was bad. Did I use that? I, don't use this one. 
I probably should have used them in an order. But you know what? The colors are... Maybe I'll put two coats on. This is a pretty color. So we're basically doing a rainbow. Let's throw some gold in there. Oh, wait. Let me put a... Yeah, I don't want to... Probably should have. Oh, that's pretty. I think I got all the bold colors on this hand, and all the lighter colors are going to be on this one. Did I use this? Let's see. Yeah, I think I used that one already. I'm sorry. So this is just the first coat. But look how beautiful they are. So I'm going to go ahead and put a second coat on real quick and then come back with my top coat. I have my um, second coats on and the colors get more beautiful with every coat. And you can see where the polish um, ran over my cuticles on some of them. I'm going to go ahead and I like to do my clean up before I actually um, do my top coat. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I'm not going to do all of this on camera. I poured some fainter polish remover in here and a fainter polish remover top. I have a little cotton ball and a brush. And I'm simply just going to clean around my cuticles. If I have any on the other side there. And I'll go ahead and just finish this. Some people don't do this. They just wait until they take a shower because it's going to definitely come off when you take a shower or wash your hands or something one or two times. Take a shower, it'll come off a minute. You wash your hands a few times, it'll come off. But I just like to go ahead and clean it up. Those are, let's see where. Go right around the cuticle tip top there. This one has a lot. And I'm just going to only do one hand on camera. I'll do the other hand off camera. So you're basically just painting off um, the unnecessary <laughs> polish with the brush. And my cuticles here, this part around the rim, I like to take the brush and kind of like just go up like that so that it won't, it'll only get what I need, the cuticle part. It won't get my uh, fingernail polish that I want to stay on below my cuticle. Oh, yeah, this one had a whole lot. So we got those all cleaned up. I'll do the other hand. Everything is all cleaned up, so it's top coat time. These are some really, really beautiful, vibrant colors. Um, I really, I'm really feeling this gold right here. So I think that my next manicure and pedicure is going to be an all gold. So make sure you don't skip your top coat if you want your um, pedicure to last for your manicure or pedicure to last. And try to um, seal around the edges. Let me see if I can show you. What I'm, seal around the edges. I turned it upside down, but you need to get that that very edge around here, your nails sealed. That way it won't wash off so quick. I usually seal it this way when I'm um, polishing. I'll go ahead and do like that, and then I'll 
run the brush around the edge, the rim. And that top coat just does it. It puts the finishing touches on. It really gives it a high gloss shine. My battery is running low. I hope that my video don't cut out. So I'm going to go ahead and um, end this video. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to go ahead and finish my other top coat off of, um, off of camera because my battery is running low. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. The beautiful end results. Too bad I can't show both fingers, both hands at one time because I'm holding the camera with the other.